What you can see is my grapes uh, during fermentation, something you've never seen before. We've been able to do that uh, because we produced uh, a vat uh, out of glass. As you can see, it's perfectly transparent. We've been filling it uh, with uh, wonderful Sangiovese grapes uh, because we wanted to understand uh, what happens uh, during uh, the process of making wine. The first thing that we have to do is to keep temperature under control. With a thermometer, I can control the temperature in every single spot uh, of this vat uh, during the whole process. The first surprise was this kind of uh, powder that you can see and we believe that this powder is in fact uh, the yeast or it's produced by the yeast. The second is uh, that color left uh, the grapes, uh, the skin of the grapes uh, and went down uh, as it would be more heavy than the rest of the components. Uh, at the beginning it went down and then uh, after a certain period, I would say hours, uh, it began to come up uh, and uh, to color the surface, the color of the liquid that was uh, coming out and giving us this wonderful colors that we've never seen. Strange was also the way in which the grapes uh, behaved, going partially down and partially up, like something is lighter and something is uh, heavier. Then fermentation began. You can see how uh, the CO2, carbon dioxide, forms uh, into the liquid and begins to build up uh, small bubbles that go up to the surface. These bubbles uh, fix uh, to the skin of the grapes uh, and the risk uh, is uh, that when the capel of this hat is formed, uh, the skins get too dry. So we have to get them wet. And this system, which the French call pijage, and we have been testing last year for a longer period in this uh, glass vat, is, uh, in my opinion, much better because uh, it's much, much uh, more uh, gentle and uh, it gives, uh, at the end, a wine that uh, keeps more aromas uh, and that keeps also a better harmony somehow. And uh, that's the reason why last year, studying uh, this uh, vat, Class, we decided to move uh, only to this system called Pichar. Here is another experiment that we have tested a few years, uh, but this year we did it uh, definitely. We let the whole uh, carbon dioxide through this uh, tower. This tower is a uh, cooling tower that will bring the parts that are still liquid again into liquid. We can recover some. Uh, one per 1,000, one cubic centimeter per liter. And this year we decided uh, to give this liquid back uh, to, the, uh, to the wine. Uh, it's very interesting because this liquid uh, contains uh, some water, contains uh, about 28% uh, of alcohol, but a huge amount of aromas. All these aromas would be lost uh, if we wouldn't uh, get them back through this uh, cooling tower. Now this year for the first time we give it back to the wine and we will see in a few years I would say what happens uh, if we give to the wine back the aromas that he's been uh, losing before, let's say during fermentation. Uh, the time I am uh, making uh, this video we already have been able uh, to uh, taste uh, the wine and I must say that the wine is pretty, pretty interesting. It looks like uh, the amount of uh, aromas uh, and uh, the gentleness of these aromas is very, very interesting. So I think uh, we're going to study that uh, for a much, much longer period. And uh, what else? For me, it's wonderful to see how, uh, how these uh, grapes uh, separate uh, from the skin uh, how this uh, carbon dioxide forms uh, and goes up uh, bringing out uh, all these uh, aromas producing all these aromas it's uh, something very 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 fascinating for me and uh, for me it's uh, something that I really like to do
Here you can have a closer look uh, to fermentation. I can stand there and watch it for hours. It's fascinating to see this uh, gas forming, this wine becoming. Making wine has been the most beautiful adventure that I had in my life. Sorry that I began uh, so late. I began uh, when I was uh, already 50. But uh, I really, really 